The enormous range of emotions that spectators experience while watching professional wrestling is one of its most outstanding features. However, there are certain moments WWE made fans very sad. Here are five WWE moments that made fans cry. On June 25, 2007 on Raw was one of the saddest moments in WWE. The night was supposed to be a scripted memorial for Mr. McMahon, but everything changed. The show kicked off with Vince McMahon standing in the middle of an empty arena, sharing the news that Chris Benoit, his wife Nancy, and young son Daniel were all tragically found dead at their home in Georgia. It was later revealed that Chris Benoit was the one responsible for the death of his wife, son, and of his own. Tonight's storyline was to have been the alleged demise of my character, Mr. McMahon. However, in reality, WWE superstar Chris Benoit, his wife Nancy, and their son, Daniel, are dead. Their bodies were discovered this afternoon in their new suburban Atlanta home. My real name is Joe, and I've been living with leukemia for 11 years. On October 22, 2018, WWE Raw kicked off with Roman Reigns cutting an out-of-character promo. He announced that his leukemia was back after 11 years of being in remission. My real name is Joe. And I've been living with leukemia for 11 years. And unfortunately, it's back. And I'm going to have to relinquish the Universal Championship. When he initially entered the ring, nobody saw it coming from him and no one anticipated it. He received an immediate outpouring of support from the crowd. The Shield experienced a priceless moment together, and it was a really emotional one with Rollins, Ambrose, and the entire WWE locker room showing their love and support. On September 10, 2012 on Raw, Jerry Lawler teamed up with Randy Orton to defeat CM Punk and Dolph Ziggler in a tag team match. He then carried on with his commentary, but then something quite serious happened later that night. He had a heart attack as he was calling a match between Team Hell No and the Prime Time players and passed out at the announcer's table. Michael Cole, who was with him at the commentary desk, broke character and told the audience what was actually happening. Ladies and gentlemen, I do want to, to uh, preface this by saying that this is not part of our entertainment tonight. This is a, a real-life situation. Um, earlier this evening, my broadcast colleague, Jerry the King Lawler, passed out while working here at ringside. Uh, he collapsed um, uh, on the ground. He was stretchered to the back where he received CPR. This is, a, is an extremely, extremely serious situation. And, uh, you know, Jerry, my friend, my, my prayers are with you. During a pay-per-view event in 1999, something really tragic happened. Owen Hart, who was playing a superhero character, fell to his death during his entrance from a harness 78 feet up in the air. It was even more heartbreaking getting to see Jim Ross announce the tragic passing of Owen Hart on live television. Uh, this is not a part of the uh, entertainment here tonight. This is as real uh, as it real can be here. We're here to entertain and have fun, but this is neither. No, it's, uh, it's, it doesn't look good. I have the unfortunate responsibility to let everyone know that Owen Hart has died. Owen Hart has tragically died from an accident. Even though every death in professional wrestling is heartbreaking, Eddie Guerrero's passing shocked everyone. Nobody anticipated it. So when it was revealed, the wrestling community experienced genuine sadness. It was really moving to watch the wrestlers give their tributes, and it was obvious that they were having trouble comprehending everything. It just goes to demonstrate how much he meant to the wrestling world, and this moment goes down as one of the most saddest moments in the history of sports entertainment. I want Eddie's wife and kids to know how much they meant to him. It's all he ever talked about. I know that... Uh, <clears throat> Somewhere Eddie's going to be looking down on this night, proud that all the guys went out there and put on a show for him. I miss you, man.